G'day guys. Today I'm going to take you for a bit of a run in Monty the UC uh, with all of the upgrades, uh, checking the consistency of temperature. Uh, thanks to Schultze, um, I did know about it, but I have purchased a um, an adapter set up uh, for the top radiator hose uh, to fit the uh, Davis Craig um, thermatic pickup right into the fluid because it just frustrates me that 20 degrees difference from the digital readout to the uh, actual temperature gauge that I've put in uh, the inside of the car and hopefully once I fit that adapter up and get the probe straight into the coolant the uh, the discrepancy will be a lot less but anyway going to get her out of the shed and uh, let you have a look so I've got the old girl out of the shed uh, I did go for running it yesterday and the temperature sat absolutely beautiful. I've put an 82 degree thermostat back in it <clears throat> and um, it's running really nicely. Temperature sits absolutely beautifully and I'll uh, give her a kick in the guts and let you listen to her. Radio, we'll uh, give her a little bit of a kick in the guts. Gauges light up, sits there nicely. You can see in there the uh, SAS gauge I fitted into the standard dash. She's sitting on about oh, 700 RPM. Just idles away, absolutely beautiful. Temperature's starting to come up a little bit on the gauge. She's about, oh, coming up to about the 60 degree mark. She's got a nice little uh, note sitting there. It's pretty much standard exhaust. I'm planning on a lot bigger exhaust coming out of her. Anyway, we might take her a bit of a run on the road and uh, let you hear a go. Again, she's she's not a power machine at the moment. Still waiting for that uh, supercharger kit to come, but it travels quite nicely. There you go guys, been for a bit of a run in Monty, the UC Tirana, uh, with the 173. Um, this whole build process in the last couple of months has been all about a Barnett Performance Engineering Supercharger Kit that I purchased nearly six months ago. Uh, Shane's just finishing that off and putting the finishing touches on it. And the next series of video videos will be uh, about the installation of that uh, supercharger kit onto the UC. I have uh, recently committed to uh, going off uh, club rego and on to full rego. Um, that'll give me 12 months to get the supercharger kit uh, set up, running, get all the engineering done. Uh, I've got to have a missions control uh, check on it and I'll probably be running a uh, catalytic converter in the exhaust system. I've got a new exhaust system planned for it. Uh, I've got a set of uh, two-piece extractors uh, that I'll be fitting up to the Yellow Terra head and uh, planning on a three-inch system all the way through to get rid of uh, 
uh, a bit of those exhaust gases because I'll be forcing a fair bit in the top. Really happy with the car. Um, it's been a great project. It's teaching me a lot for uh, my LH build, which uh, I'm sort of getting very keen on. So if you like what I'm doing again, make sure you subscribe. Um, it, I'll probably be about four weeks away from getting that supercharger if Shane uh, gets the time uh, to commit to it. Uh, but again, it's no biggie. It'll happen eventually and it's going to be a really good process uh, putting that in and seeing the performance increase in the car. Anyway, catch us.